my favorite things about visiting Small Town USA is all the fun and quirky little tidbits of history that you discover along the way. And that was especially true when we decided to visit More Than Quilts in the seemingly quiet little town of Sydney, Nebraska. This great little town in the middle of Nebraska has so much history and so much fun, and of course, a quilt shop. Let's go in and say hello. Okay, so we're coming in. And you don't see her, but I'm with Mary. And Mary, what is, where are we at? You're at More Than Quilts in Sydney, Nebraska, and welcome. Okay, and where is uh, the address for the store? 1044 Illinois Street. Perfect. Okay, so we're gonna do a quick walk around. We'll start here at the front door. So you can just, I'll let Mary take over. Well, we have a good selection of books. We try and keep ones that we think people would like. And so that's what this is, and as well as this. And then we have notions. And because we are a small town and their closest is 40 miles, except for Little Lynn's store, we need to have notions. And so we have quite a selection for people. And if we don't have what you want, we'll be happy to get it for you. <laughs> and everybody needs a Cornhusker license plate. I mean, <laughs> really, folks. Especially for and all the forget. traveling quilters. <laughs> I like that. I plead quilty. I like that one, too. <laughs> and this is our humble selection of fabric. And it wraps around the side there. And you're welcome to go in. Alright, let's take a look. break my heart to get rid of some of them. Let me just give you a sample. Oh, wow. This is a Wilcox Gibbs. Gorgeous. And the other is a Singer with Pearl Inlay. Would you like to see it? Sure. If there's a new mom in town, if we see them, we give them a free gift. Oh, little, little booty. mittens for their baby. Very cute. Oh, wow. That is amazing. Look at the detail on it. I love it. <laughs> and there's more in the corner. Okay. We have some hiding. We figure solids don't need to be in as much light as prints do for right. people to see. Right. So this section here, what's this for? This is our work area. We take in, we do some alterations. We make quilts for customers. We repair if needed. And sometimes we even have small classes here. Otherwise we use the long armor uh, enchanted snowflakes for their classroom and teach over there. Very nice. Well, thank you, Mary. You're welcome. Back in its boom years in the Old West out here in Sydney, it was a mix of settlers, freighters, cowboys, and soldiers. There's also a walking tour. Oh, fun, okay. So you take your phone and, and you can download the app. And if you stand in front of our store, there's a little scan bar and you scan it and we'll tell you the history of this building. So what's the history of this building? Well, this building was built in 1886, I believe, and is over 130 years old. Wow. It was the first permanent building that was not um, 
would or was not a lean-to for the jail. For oh, city. okay. And the jail was in the basement. Wow. They used to have heated um, steam tunnels. And so where the building over here, as you walk into your immediate left, is um, is at an angle, mm -hmm. like an inside of a, t a triangle angle. Right. And under there, in the basement, is where the steam tunnel entrance was. Okay. And the jail. Oh my gosh. Now upstairs was the mortuary. Of course. And here was, I think, some type of mercantile or something, back when it was first built. Wow. Yeah, the Old West was definitely not an easy, uh, easy it place to be. It was known as Sinful Sydney for a reason. It was nothing but bars and hotels and, and the local um, ladies of the night so would now visit through the steam tunnel so that the, oh, the ladies, you know, auxiliary and, and the little um, churchgoers would not see them walking on the street. That makes sense. Just incredible history this place has. Yeah, and for well, a town of 6,000 and something, yeah. it's amazing.